This used to be uh, the big port in Washington in the 1850s, 60s, 70s, 80s. There were very few towns as big and as bustling as port towns, and there used to be hundreds of ships out here. And this was going to be what Seattle became, but the railroad didn't make it. And so it's a, a remarkably preserved bit of history that is a, a delightful place to, to visit. Well, I've been coming for about 20 years, and this is wooden boat paradise. Port Townsend has always been known as an arts community, a good place for artists and creative people to live. But now, more than ever, it's a great place for people to come and see and buy art. We've lived here since the early 90s and never really thought about making our living as artists in this community, but it's happened. And it's really a wonderful place to see wildly individualistic and creative art. I love Gallery Walk. In this gallery specifically, I hold court for the local community and I honor a lot of the local artisans here along with people who come in and who have a chance to explore art in Port Townsend from other places. Centrum Center for the Arts and Education and other arts organizations, Port Townsend has a world-class scene in the literary, performing, and visual arts. The Port Townsend Film Festival is a film lover's block party that draws actors and filmmakers from around the world. Here I am in Port Townsend and um, I've always wanted to come to this town because I've heard lots of people talk about it and how beautiful it is and what a fine little community it is and here I am to see for myself. I'm not disappointed. It's a beautiful place. Like a lot of small towns, Port Townsend has found itself cast as a backdrop, as a set for film shot here, both large and small productions, Hollywood and independent, and probably the most celebrated one was An Officer and a Gentleman. There was also Snow Falling on Cedars, which was written by Northwest author David Gooderson, and even celebrated filmmaker Robert Altman shot his television picture here, The Cane Mutiny Court Martial. And what inevitably happens when these productions come to town is that a lot of the local residents find themselves cast as extras in the movie. So not only is there the eventual excitement of the film premiering here, but of the extras, the locals, finding themselves on screen here at the Rose Theatre. There is so much support for all of the arts and so much support for any kind of entrepreneurial enterprise. People want other people who choose to live here to succeed and to continue contributing to the community. Being in the bread business, it's w wonderful that we can share what we do with everybody. And to come to work in the morning and smell the bread, our bread, all over the neighborhood. Bonjour. The neighborhood appreciates it so much and they tell us that all the time. I just love that. Top of the morning to you. Port Townsend is my idea of heaven on earth. I run a company that is both national and international from right here. And the other beauty of Port Townsend and this community is that I can bring my dogs into the office every day. It's a wonderful place to work and a great atmosphere.
have done more restoration of our buildings here in Port Towns in the last 15 years than we have done in the last 74. Townsend was recently named a Preserve America community by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. And I'm standing outside our historic city hall, which was recently renovated and is a shining example of historic preservation in action. We're just delighted to be here at the opening of this, the new city council chambers in this year of our Lord, 1892. Now what's remarkable, there, somebody who could see into the future told me that this will later be known as the council chamber being used the longest continually as a council chamber in the entire state of Washington. Quite remarkable. Very nicely done. It's really charming with all the Victorian architecture and great shopping. I love the shopping here and all the people we've met here are really, really friendly. Nice people, nice town to visit. One thing that we've heard from customers a lot is that uh, Port Townsend shopping and Port Townsend merchandise is different than anywhere else they've been. It's a unique and an authentic experience. It's a small town but full of independent businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. All right. Amy and I are from Seattle and we really enjoy coming to Port Townsend. Uh, the food is great, the restaurants are great, the ice cream is excellent. It's a great little town. We love Port Townsend. This is our home. Actually, uh, we call it our base camp uh, because from here we can go out on the Olympic Peninsula and climb glaciated mountains within 100 miles. So we've got the forest, we've got the rivers, and we've got a wonderful uh, base camp where we can go anywhere and come back to a nice town that's friendly. So we love it here. Port Townsend is a perfect place to get out on the water. You can jump in a classic uh, wood longboat, or you can get in a kayak. And rowing in the most beautiful place that I've ever, ever been on the water. Oh, Good luck in sales. I've been a sailmaker in Port Townsend, Washington for the better part of 30 years. And I'm a very proud member of our maritime trades community here. We're keeping alive the beauty of, of the craft as well as the practicality of making a living. We're actually able to contribute a third to the economy of our community by doing these marine trades. What are you doing here at Fort Warden this afternoon? Having fun. 